What's up guys, it's Jane Day Exotics and welcome back. I'm very excited to do today's video. I waited a long time to do it. We're going to be talking about some facts and the care of the tailless whip scorpion. So without any further ado, let's begin. Hey, before you begin, if you guys want to support the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I also post my channel link up here if you guys want to watch more content. And I'll post my Instagram right around here if you guys want to go check that out. Thank you. So the tailless whip scorpion looks like something out of your nightmares. I can totally picture these guys as the final bossy fight in Resident Evil. I know some of you may be thinking, dude, you gotta step on that before it makes babies. But the truth is, these nocturnal arachnids are actually harmless. They don't possess any venom, and they can't bite you. The worst they may do is pinch in self-defense, but that's about it. The tailless whip scorpions get their names from their front legs resembling whips and having no tails. The scientific name is Damon Diadema. These guys can be found in the states from Florida to Arizona, and they can also be found in Africa and Tanzania, Kenya, and other surrounding areas. The ones that are more common in the pet trade are from Africa. They're found in tropical and subtropical areas. Like all arachnids, the tailless whip scorpion's body is made up of two parts, the cephalothorax and the abdomen. Even though their front legs look like antennas, they're not. They're referred to as whips. True arachnids don't possess any antennas. Unlike a spider's two front legs that help them walk, these whips are used as a sensory organ to look for prey, sense chemical changes in the area, and even pick up vibrations. Their pedipalps resemble claws that are used to hold their prey to eat or pinch if they feel threatened. Unlike spiders, whose chelicerae evolved into fangs, their chelicerae are used to grind up and slice their food either dead or alive. Housing these guys alone is a must because they can become territorial and cannibalism can occur. Even though their bodies will only reach a few inches in length, their leg span can reach up to 15 inches. Tailless whip scorpions are a semi-arboreal species and they will climb and hang off the top of their enclosures to molt. Just like tarantulas, it'll take a week to 10 days to fully harden after a molt. Because of their size and them being semi-arboreal, a 12x12x18 front opening tank is recommended for them. When setting up their enclosure, try to use cork rounds and other surfaces that make it easier for them to grasp. Smooth surfaces make it extremely difficult for them to climb. Tailless whip scorpions require a high humidity around 75%, so a substrate that holds humidity and frequent misting is a must. The tailless whip scorpions will also drink the water droplets after being misted. You can also keep a shallow water dish in the enclosure to help with the humidity, and they can also drink from it if they want to. Make sure the substrate layer is a few inches thick, as these guys will burrow sometimes. When it comes to heat, the tailless whip scorpions prefer temperatures around 74 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. This is very important. When it comes to heating the enclosure, make sure you use a heat pad on the side of the tank. This species burrows to escape the heat, and if you put the heat pad on the bottom of the enclosure, there's a possibility that you can overheat and kill your tailless whip scorpion. These guys are insectivores, feeding on a variety of insects in captivity. Their lifespan is usually 5 to 10 years. In order to sex this species, we need to look at their legs. We're going to ignore their whips, and we're going to move right on to their second set of legs. If their pedipalps are longer than the first segment on their second set of legs, then you have yourself a male. One more awesome fact before we end the video today, Tailless whip scorpions can actually identify their own offspring. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. The tailless whip scorpion is by far one of the craziest looking pets you can own. If you guys want to support the channel and subscribe, I'll post my channel right around here. Or if you guys just want to go and watch more content, I'll post that right around here. Thank you.